Today, I'm shooting one of my favorite videos that I get to shoot. I have packages sent to me from you, the viewers, the subscribers, the supporters of my YouTube channel. These kinds of videos are my absolute favorite to record because I, 99% of the time, have no idea what is in these packages that people send to me. Sometimes they send me autographed items for my autograph collection. They've sent me Funko Pops, other collectibles, action figures, personal just letters to me. I've had a couple people send me some very nice like art that they made for me. Like, I'm very humbled to get such cool stuff sent to me from my from my viewers and supporters. So today, once again, this is going to be an epic video. I can't wait to get into these packages and see what's in these. We've got one box, two box, three boxes. Then we have one, two, three, four envelopes. So a total of seven packages, four envelopes, and three boxes. And I don't know anything in any of these packages. The only one that I knew was coming to me was from Pop King Paul. And he's a wrestling fan. And he told me that he's sending me a care package. But I don't know actually what's in it. So that's the only thing that I knew was coming but I was in it. In the past, I've always had a lot of people who ask me, you know, we see you unboxing videos, we wanna send you something. So I've, I never pressure anybody to send me items. No pressure. But people ask me, um, in all my videos, I leave my UPS mailbox, like my business uh, address and my YouTube address in the description box to every single video. It'll be down there again for this video. Um, so for all the people who want to send stuff to me to unbox, be it a viewer, a company, it's always in every video, uh, my actual UPS business YouTube address. So I'm going to do this one first. This one intrigues me because it feels okay. Not, not to sound kind of unusual, but it kind of feels like a, like a cup. A cup that a man or a boy would wear to protect certain parts of their body. That's kind of what it feels like. I, I, I have no clue what's in this package. There is a note. That says, thank you, a Hallmark card. And they actually, their Instagram is Beauty Brawn Repurposed on Instagram. I'll go ahead and show this to the camera right now before I forget. But that is the Instagram from the nice people who sent me this package. Clinton, actually this is for me and my wife. Clinton Becky, thank you so much for all of your knowledge you share, tips for resellers, and your great YouTube channels. My husband Billy and I enjoy watching them and have learned so much. We saw this when we were sourcing and knew it was perfect for baby gorilla and his wife who enjoys baking. Enjoy, Jennifer and Billy. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so it, it is not a cup. Because I can feel some more ridges in it. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's, it's hard to explain, but... <laughs> that's kind of what it felt like. I was a little bit worried, but once you get it out, you can feel extra texture on it. So it is not what I thought it might be. So, oh, that's cool. That's cool. So they gave me a baking pan of a gorilla. That's awesome. That is so thoughtful. Thank you so much. Yeah, you see how I thought it was kind of like a, you know, like a cup because of the way it kind of, you know, goes in, but it is not a cup. We're safe. This next box, I'm going to do this one next because I am very, very curious of what's in this. This was actually sent to me from the WWE Shop Marketplace. So I didn't order anything off the WWE Shop. And whenever I do, I always have it sent to my home address. This was sent to my UPS mailbox. So this, I'm guessing, was probably sent to me from a subscriber who bought something on the WWE shop and had it sent to me. So I am totally stumped of what this might be. So I have the receipt and I wasn't contacted by anybody, you know, to tell me, please don't say, you know, their name. Cause sometimes I do get stuff. People don't actually want it un unboxed on YouTube or they don't want their name or anything. So this person's name, I did not get any emails from this person telling me do not say their name in a video. So this is from a Mr. David Paul Fogg from Ohio. 
Let's see, what did David send me? Oh, that's awesome. He sent me the WWE Heavyweight Championship coffee mug. Well, that's awesome. Everybody knows I'm a huge wrestling fan. And I love coffee. So I, I will definitely use this cup. I will use this tomorrow morning with my breakfast. So, David, thank you so much for the WWE Championship coffee cup. That's cool. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Let's do an envelope. Hi, Clint. My name is Cassandra, and as a thank you for getting me into YouTubing, I want to send you something to add your autograph memorabilia collection. Awesome. As a, fellow, as a fellow wrestling fan, I've collected a lot of things over the years, and this piece no longer fits my collection, but as a child of the 80s, I hope will fit yours. Okay. She actually tells me what it is. Inside is a pair of signed replica trunks, not used, <laughs> parentheses, not used, by a prominent Mick Carter of the 80s. I hope you enjoy your new memorabilia. If you get a chance, please check out my YouTube channel that will be all about wrestling called Wrestling with a Passion, which will feature day in the life, favorite list, Q&A review, room tour, and unboxing videos once I get a tripod. Sincerely, Cassandra. So I will, uh, she leaves like a direct link to her YouTube in it. But I'll make sure and find it on YouTube and post a direct link below to her YouTube channel. Which is called Wrestling with a Passion. So this is a pair of... No way! Are you serious? Okay, that's, that, that's cool. She sent me a pair of Honky Tonk Man signed replica wrestling trunks. Okay, that is... That is so cool. I don't have anything like this in my collection. She says they're not you, so... <laughs> they... Okay, that is freaking awesome. Got the Honky Tonk Man on the back, and then down there he signed Honky Tonk Man. Okay, how awesome is that? Like, I am a big collector of autographs and memorabilia. I collect a lot of autographed wrestling stuff. I love autograph collectibles and stuff like this. I just think it's so cool. I actually will have to get this thing framed now. There's a picture of actually Honky Tonk Man holding the pair of trunks in the picture that she included with the package. Awesome. And then it's her certificate of authenticity from the company, from the signing. Okay, this is this is this is very unexpected, but so appreciated. Um, yeah. Cassandra, thank you so much. Can you imagine wrestlers actually wearing it? Because they do wear these. But this is like some of the wrestlers, this is all they wear out to the ring. This is it. I personally couldn't do it. I'm not confident enough to come out wearing just this. But a lot of wrestlers do. Like a lot of your favorites, like Randy Orton, he comes out in just this. Crazy, right? Next item, let's actually, let's do a box. Let's do a small box. Let's see what we got. Okay, so there is a bottom part of this note where he wrote, please don't read on the air, but the top part is good. So, hi Clint, I am a knife dealer and I follow your videos and I think you do an excellent job with them. So I'm sending you this knife that has a blade that seldom needs to be sharpened. So you won't need to keep saying, I need to sharpen my knife. Yeah, I, uh, yes. So thanks again for the great videos. New friend, Phil Wood. Uh, this is all packaging. I mean, just pull out the rest of it just, just to make sure. Yes, the rest of that is just packaging. And here is a knife. That is cool. 440 stainless. It's sharp. It's sharp. <laughs> yeah, this knife is awesome. Like, I do love my knives. And, uh, yeah, whenever somebody sends me a new knife, I, I freaking love it. Because I love knives. And Phil, thank you so much for the knife. I really appreciate it. Thank you for, for the letter. And uh, I'll be in touch with you. Yeah, awesome. Let me do the package from Pop King Paul that he sent to me. I'll make sure to leave a direct link below in the description box to Pop King Paul's Instagram. He sells some of the best Funko Pop mystery boxes in the business. Like I purchased from him, I think maybe three times, maybe four, 
and uh, the value that he gives in the boxes are fantastic. So if you are into Funko Pops or Funko Pop mystery boxes or just mystery boxes, hit up Paul on Instagram. So here we go. On this side it says, please do not bend. Let me carefully, I'm using the new knife that I got from Phil. Oh, that's sharp. This already looks freaking awesome. No way. Freaking Bullet Club. So if you're a fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling, if you watch ROH, you should know who the Bullet Club is. That they've been around now for several years. They've been led by several different wrestlers. Like the original leader of it was uh, Finn Balor or Prince Devitt back in those days. Then it was AJ Styles. And then, I mean, we've had several leaders of the Bullet Club. Right now it is Jay White's the leader of Bullet Club. So yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm about to find some somewhere. This this is kind of like a uh, kind of like a towel. I'm gonna need to find some place to hang this thing up. Bullet Club. So these are taped shut. I didn't see any note in here from Paul. No. Very top. I see an autograph. No way. Wow, there's a lot of autographs in here. Okay, Paul, me, him talked on Instagram. He recently went to the G1 Climax in Dallas, Texas, Texas earlier in July. And he sent me a whole stack of signed pictures. And I don't have anybody in here. I needed all these for my collection. Okay, first one. <laughs> let me quit. Let me stop looking. Let me show the camera. First one, we got Kota Ibushi. If anybody knows New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, this guy's big. This guy is one of the best in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and I do not have his autograph. And yeah, this this is awesome. The next one. We got Joshin Thunder Liger. Yeah, I do not have his autograph either. That is awesome. Next one, we've got Naito. I always say his first name wrong. It's uh, Tetsuyatsu. Tet Tetsuyatsu? I don't know. Naito. <laughs> I always butcher his first name whenever I try to say it. Yeah, this thing is ultra cool yeah if anybody is a fan of new japan pro wrestling you will know this guy fun fact wwe actually tried to sign him at the same time that they got uh, shinsuke nakamura from new japan pro wrestling they actually gave this this guy a pretty big offer that he turned down he wanted to stay in new japan do his own thing which i think was the was the right move for him but yeah naito that is a cool autograph right there Next one, we've got Ishii. Yeah, I, if I try to say his first name, I'd end up just butchering it. But his last name is Ishii. And actually, just recently, if I remember correctly, he recently just fought uh, John Moxley. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it might have been at this event. I think it was. But yeah, he recently fought John Moxley. But yeah, Ishii autograph. That is cool. Next, we've got Hiroshi Tanahashi. That guy is very, very fun to watch. Yeah, I do like him. He is one of the very, very good ones that you can watch in New Japan. Yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah, I'm happy to add his autograph to my collection. That is, that is ultra cool. And the next one, second to last, last one we've got Sonata. Yeah, I do not have his, his autograph. So far, everybody, I have never received their autographs yet. So this is freaking awesome to add all these to my wrestling autograph collection because I needed all of these guys. And it's, all, it's so cool that they're actually on the official G1 Climax 29. 
like their official eight by 10 photos. So that actually, that kind of, you know, dates the autograph to when it actually was signed, when it took place. So that's, that's even like more special, you know what I'm saying? And the last one that we have in this stack of rest and autographs, we have Juice Robinson is the last one of the autographs. So another fantastic wrestler. Um, once again, I don't have his autograph. And uh, yeah, I do need more New Japan Pro Wrestling um, autographs. So these are very, very much appreciated because I need every single one of these for my own collection. So favorite ones out of the stack. I mean, it's kind of hard not to go with Kota and go with Naito. I mean, Ibushi and Naito, these two are, in my opinion, some of the biggest stars in New Japan. I'm a huge fan of both of these guys. I mean, seriously, these two are incredible. Ah, yeah, these these two are my favorite out of that stack. Which one's probably my favorite, though? I got to go with my boy Kota Ibushi as my favorite out of the stack of autographs just because this dude is phenomenal. And there's been some rumblings that uh, Kenny Omega hopefully someday gets... Ibushi to join AEW, um, but I, I, from what I understand right now, Kota is wanting to have a nice, good, solid run in New Japan before he ever leaves the company. He wants to have a good, solid run, get some more championships, uh, making bigger. He's he's already a huge name in New Japan, but in like an, in, an even bigger name for himself. But yeah, I think we'll we'll see him eventually in AEW, maybe a few years down the road. But right now. He's tearing it up in New Japan. So, yeah, Paul, thank you so much. I know he told me that uh, Paul and um, his son both had a hand in getting this package together for me. And everything in this thing is more than what I ever expected to be sent. Um, I love the autographs. I, I needed every single one of these for my collection. And the Bullet Club towel. Yeah, I'm going to find some place to hang this thing up because I am a huge fan of Bullet Club. Big shout out, Paul. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This was very kind of you to get me a stack of autographs from the G1 Climax that he went to a few weeks ago. Yeah, awesome. Next, let's do an envelope. Hi, Clint. I admire you and what you do. I'm a writer. I just started my own YouTube channel where my friend and I do movie reviews and other nerdy stuff. I know how you like to collect signatures, so here's mine. I love your channel. I watch every video you upload. I also call my wife the wife. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my book. I know you don't have kids yet, but you can read it to your cat. Yeah, my, my cat's so lazy. Yeah, he just sit there. <laughs> He'll listen. Give up the great work. You're an awesome entertainer. So here's his Facebook page. His Instagram is Jake Jake Vamp. Twitter, at the real Jake Vamp. iTunes, Jake Vamp. YouTube, Jake Vamp. So I'll go ahead and show the screen right now. There's all the direct links to Jake and his social media. I'll make sure and leave direct links below to quite a few of those. So let's see what he sent. Oh, cool. The vampire goes to the dentist and he signed it by Jake Vamp and Gina Morellas, illustrated by Jared Graham. So he wrote a book. The Vampire Goes to the Dentist is a venture story about a boy's fear of the dentist and overcoming that fear to make a journey to the dentist. It is an actual illustrated book. That is really cool. That is so awesome. And he did sign the front cover of it for me. So that is really cool. Thank you so much. I do like collecting my autographed items. And uh, yeah, I've got... An, I'm proud of my collection and everything that goes into it is as special as the last item. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is really cool. So Jake, uh, hopefully this book does well for you. I'll make sure I leave direct links to all of your social media. Everybody, check out his book. On the back, he actually has the barcode for it also. So I'm not too sure uh, if you can maybe do like, do like a UPC barcode search and maybe find where it's sold at. So cool. Last item, we have a box. Yeah, this knife that I got from Phil is extremely sharp. Okay, I do not see a note inside, no. So, uh, 
I don't see so I don't see anything says that don't say my name. This is from Albert Deaton. So he sent me an Archer figure. Comes on a base and everything. Okay, that's awesome. Then there is a an exclusive Loot Crate Funko Pop of Widowmaker Overwatch. Look at that. Exclusive Loot Crate Funko Pop. That is awesome. Next, there is a t-shirt in here. This is from the show Mr. Robot. F Society. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. I actually don't have that shirt. And then inside there is a comic, Big Trouble in Little China Escape from New York. And a comic book. So that is awesome. He sent me a whole box full of stuff. Comic book, t-shirt, and two collectible figurines. One is a Funko Pop. So that is really cool. Thank you so much, uh, Albert Deaton. But yeah, everybody who sent me stuff, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Everything here was just phenomenal. Uh, anytime somebody sends me stuff, I keep everything that I get because I never expected my YouTube channel to get as big as it has. I never in my wildest dreams thought people would just send me items. Um, most everybody sends me stuff that, that like I collect. Items, you know, like sign stuff. You know, like, I think that's very thoughtful of people to send me stuff that they know I personally collect. And that's, that's incredible, I think, that people, that people do that. That is very kind, very generous. So thank you so much, everybody. So everybody in the past who sent me stuff, present and future, thank you. Um, so yeah, I will see you next week. I gotta go pick up some more packages. I think I got a couple at my UPS store to pick up. I'll pick, do either tomorrow or Wednesday, I'll pick them up. And let's do another one of these next week. How's that sound? So, I'll see you next time. I'm out. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.